The moon hangs heavy in the late night sky, yet the Pope still fall. Let's have a look why. The day was long and offered nothing of cheer. How about a story over a mug of beer? Crowd around all who dwell here. I'm Jack. Call me the storyteller. Quiet down and lend me your ear. I know exactly what you want to hear. I'll spin you a yarn, and before I'm through, you'll be as sure as I that every word is true. It's about a brave little girl with hardly a fear, who looked for her life like any of these kids here. But wait, who's this stumbling onto the stage? A round of applause for our leading lady. Her name is Abby. She lived in a quaint little village just like, like this one. Trust me, it's not so important where you are from. Even the meekest hick town has stories galore. So the one I'm telling might as well be yours. A little circus was in town, traveling their route, wooing the locals wherever they were about. And amongst all these passers-by, here's Abby. Would you like to say hi? Come on, Abby. Show us what you're made of. Not bad. Well done, eh? Or do you think Abby's selling you short? She's not here by chance, though. No, this isn't a visit. This is her home. Fortune has deemed her artiste extraordinaire, though not extraordinary enough to command her fair share. The ringmaster announces, Attention, the artiste! A meager little girl child confronts the beast. Help! I'm afraid I've dropped my cap. Someone to the rescue! Can I be saved by scout? Well done! You've almost got it! Don't stop now! Use your wit! <laughs> Phenomenal, Abby! Do tell! Ringmaster praises, you've mastered that well! 
But now the hours have wild away. That was the last performance of the day. Alas, when she's not before the cheering crowd, Abby's life is far from proud. You had the audience cheering for more. The ringmaster praises and then locks the door. Poor Abby, held in a small cage day and night, only free for the length of a staged fight. Food and lodging, if you eat like a bird. But, oh, how she longs to see the world. What's this? A pair of rats take heed and bring an apple in her hour of need. The ringmaster storms in, disturbed it seems. What's going on here? He stumps and screams. Should she suffice with the bars of her cage? No. She belongs on the world's wide open stage. Impertinent? That means brash. Don't tell me you wouldn't make a dash for it. And carefully... Carefully, don't make a sound. She slips away from the ringmaster's grounds. Poor us. Abby knows too well how his captivity feels. Raging beast? Hardly. Uh, Abby, Abby, don't you see? The threads holding you up also hold you back. Without the help of friends, and those are very few, your dreams will stay dreams, and never come true. Duh! Hopefully no one heard that. Together, dear Abby, you can move out. Was it worth it? All this trouble? Urs and Abby can continue their struggle. But what's that? The ringmaster? Really found out. Fast! Oh my! Ah, the loyalty of a beast. So often attributed to the heart. But perhaps a deficiency of the intellect? Apparently Urs found Abby's cage to be smaller than his own. Well done, Urs. No, now she's alone. Quick now, Abby, run away. Don't look back. It's the start of a new day. <laughs>